Hello YouTube. I am done with my tape removal on Batman 28. The results are as follows. As you can see, I removed all the tape from the first wrap and from a rip right here. Some light staining did occur from the Bestine. I believe the ink ran or some other process happened where there was some slight staining here and here. I'm gonna try to get it out, but the tape is completely removed. There is no sticky residue I, or anything like that. Regarding the cover, the tape is completely removed two downsides to removing the tape. One, there was a little chunk that was removed here on the top left corner that was taped on and the spine separated because it was connected for a little section there, but it was connected by tape. So now we have a split cover. But here are the results of the inside cover. There is no tape here, and there is no tape on top. There's also no stickiness. So if anything, um, the comic will be preserved because the acid in the old tape is not good. It breaks down the paper. Unfortunately here, some pieces did peel up with the tape remover removal that were ripped to begin with. Uh, so it was just hanging on by dear life, but all the tape is removed. And now we have a complete Batman 29 without any tape. It is a very low grade. We know that it's probably most definitely gonna come back a 0.5, which I don't care because now it will be a complete copy minus the section of the cover that's missing without any tape destroying it over time. So I'm gonna press it one more time and then I'm gonna pack it and I'm gonna submit it to CGC. So. I'll let you know what happens when I get it back. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care.